What's up, kings and queens? Zaterica Phillips here. I'm back with another video. Look, and speaking of the word queens, check me out. Rocking my queen shirt today. I hope you guys can see that your girl representing because I am a queen. Shout out to all my kings. Thank you guys for checking out my video. Um, if this is your first time viewing my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Please feel free to check out my videos, like, comment, and share them. You know all that good stuff. Um, this is my online journey vlog number 15. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me since vlog number one. All right, today <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of tell you guys what I've been doing as far as my social media sites, okay? So the last few weeks, I've been cleaning up my social media accounts. And the first platform I started with was Twitter. Okay. I didn't uh, unfollow over 5,000 people on my Twitter account. And you probably like, Z, why are you just following so many people in the first place? Well, because I was trying to, I was trying to build a following in the beginning. And I didn't have my account since like 2009 or something like that. But anywho, I was trying to build a following and all that good stuff. So it was working because I got up to 19,000 followers. And these are real people. These are not no bots or anything. These are not no uh, fake accounts or, you know, all that fake stuff. And these are real people, what I'm trying to say. Okay. But um, anywho, I was trying to build a following for my uh, Twitter page. So, anywho, I was doing some thinking over the last few weeks and I realized that I'm following too many people that don't add value to my life. And I'm getting to a stage in my life where I want to follow people that motivate, inspire, or influence me in some type of way. Okay, so as you can see, I'm only following 136 people. That's way better than following over 5,000 people like I was in the beginning. And technically, I was following more than that. I was following probably like 19 or 20,000 in the very, very beginning. But I did a cleanup before, maybe a few months ago, and it ended up going down to like 9,000. And then the one I did um, a few months ago, I mean, not a few months ago, a few weeks ago. That's how I ended up getting it to 136. So I started with Twitter, and I didn't clean up my Instagram account, like all of my Instagram accounts. I need to do Facebook. I haven't done that one yet. I'm going to eventually do it. But I started with Twitter first because this is one of the main social media sites I be on on a daily basis. And I realized that a lot of the people that I was following wasn't adding value to my life. And that's one thing you want to make sure. You want to make sure that the people you are following and listening to are adding value to your life. Okay? Because negativity is everywhere and it's easy to get into. And you don't want to be distracted by things that are not going to help you in life or help you move forward or help you get to that next level. So that's where I'm at. That's why I'm cleaning up my social media accounts because I only want to follow people that influence me in a positive way and that add value to my life. Okay. Um, I still have 19,000 followers and stuff, which I don't even care about the following uh, anymore because I just want genuine people to follow me. And I'm not saying that these aren't genuine people because these are all real people that are following me but when I mean by genuine like if I if I really want to build a connection with people you know I want to connect with different people I want to add value to people's lives just like the people that I'm following add value to my life and stuff so um that's where my mind is at as far as uh followings and stuff on social media and actually, after today, I'm not even going to be on 
Twitter, that much, or Facebook, or Instagram, or Snapchat, because I'm going to just take my focus off social media for a minute, except for maybe YouTube, because I'm going to you know, continue to upload my videos and document my journey and let you guys know what I'm up to and all that stuff. But as far as me like being on Facebook and Instagram and just scrolling because I was falling to that black hole, I'm like, I got goals to accomplish. I can't be getting distracted by social media. And see, YouTube is not going to be a distraction for me because I'm going to be working, meaning that I'm going to be making my YouTube content just like I am right now. I'm going to be uploading it and I'm going to be sharing it to Twitter and um, Facebook and all that stuff so the people that are still using it can see my content and hopefully it brings value to them and I hope a lot of people view this video so you know they can get some of the value that I'm sharing about following people that add value to your life because that's what the message is in this video you want to follow people that add value to your life okay so I encourage everybody to do a social media cleanup pay attention to who you're following because the people can be influencing you and you not even know it. It's, you know, everything is a mind thing. So I just wanted to share that information with you guys. I hope you got value from this video. I hope you found this video to be very beneficial because the experience I've been having as far as, you know, unfollowing people that don't really add value to my life, I'm starting to see a difference. Like, <laughs> even on my timeline, it's different now because, like, when I used to log into Twitter, I would see everybody business, you know, especially negative stuff, stuff I don't really even care about. So now I just try to follow some of the people I know and people that motivate and inspire me and stuff like that. So that's where I'm at as far as, you know, my social media following. So I hope this video motivated you to do the same thing, okay? Just pay attention to the people you're following and ask yourself, is this person really added value to my life? And it's okay for somebody you know and you decide to unfollow them. If they're not adding value to your life, unfollow them. I mean, because at the end of the day, it's your life. You have to make decisions for you. And that doesn't mean you're being mean, you're, you're being selfish. No, it's not selfish. I, don't, I, I wouldn't consider that to be selfish. You're just looking out for you and your spirit. That's why I'm going to say that because you can get other people's spirits and stuff on you, so, you know, especially as far as their energy. But I'll get into that in another video. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, um just hit me up on YouTube for the time being because, like I said, I won't be on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram that much. So if you see videos being shared, just know it comes from YouTube and that's where I'm going to be at, okay? So I love you guys and I hope you got value from this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every single time I upload a video. This is Zeterica Phillips, a.k.a. CEO Phillips, Z, 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 whatever you call me. I'm signing out, and I'm wishing you nothing but love, peace, prosperity, and more and more success. Peace.